Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something quite different. It's going to be a crocheting video where I teach you guys how to crochet a bralette top. Um, I'm just going to be doing the cut pad. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that with the strings attached so you guys can wrap it around your neck. Okay, so this is the yarn I used. I used Caron in the color Scarlet. Um, this is my favorite brand and I did use a 5 um, milliliter crochet hook. Um, this is also another example of how the bralette top will look like. I didn't film the whole top because I just wanted the video to be focused on the pads. But this is what it will look like. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a loop. I think that's the name. I don't know. I'm a self-taught crocheter. So you want to create a loop. I showed you my way of doing it and then I will be showing you a different way in which you basically form the letter P and you just put the stitch through like that. And then you want to grab the stitch through it and then you want to tighten it. Make sure it's all secure. <laughs> this is like my first voiceover, so bear with me. I will be putting the size measurements in the description box and also the cup width, so you guys know your custom size. I will be showing you guys how to do the bras and so what I did is I crocheted 12 um, loops and then I went back into that 12 and I did a half double crochet you could do single crochet you could do treble whatever you want but for me personally I like doing the half double crochet approaching the end of the chain so since we crochet 12 we should end up crocheting or half double crochet 11 stitches after that you want to chain one flip your work around like I'm going to show right here and then crochet all the way down to the end of the stitch and you want to make sure you get that last one so that it's very even and then after you do that you want to do an additional four loops just so you create the formation of the top and it creates that triangle shape that you want After you do that, you want to continue doing your work on the other side. So since we did 12 stitches, you should go in the back loops and have 11. This is going to actually help you form the triangle shape that you want. to do is chain one flip your work around and then continue crocheting and repeating the same process but for this process you want to 
crochet three in the center line instead of five and this is going to help build the triangle shape and i know i keep saying that i know i keep saying that i'm just a bad talker so yeah you're going to be doing three stitches once you get to the middle and i'll show you right now I also forgot to mention that you can use stitch markers. It's highly recommended when you're beginning to do this, um, just so you won't le lose track of your work. Um, when you're doing the five stitches, make sure you count to three, mark your stitch, and do the rest of the two. This will then help you know where to put your three stitches when you, when you do round two. want to continue doing the same process until you get the width of your bralette um, but I'm going to just let the video play so you can watch me crochet as you crochet <laughs> So now that you got your width size, you also want to leave room for when you do the um, strap. And so what I did is that I left a row extra so that I can crochet my strap. And so what I will be showing you right now is that it's fully attached. Like I didn't attach it once I finished the top, but while I was crocheting it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> to be crocheting until you meet the three stitches that you made and on the second one you want to then crochet 60 stitches and that's going to be the formation of your strap I'll show you right here how I'm going to be doing the middle stitch I'm going to be hooking one I made a mistake right here I wasn't supposed to do that but then I fixed my mistake so you're going to be chaining one or looping one going into that middle stitch half double crocheting and then you're going to be crocheting the six, 60 stitches <music>
reach your 60 stitches, you want to half double crochet all the way back until you get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> until you get into the second stitch from the three stitches that we made originally. Honestly, this whole video has been so chaotic and it just made me so self-conscious about the way that I talk But I'm doing this for you guys. I know that if I do this then I can improve the way I talk and then I could also show you guys some tips and tricks and of how to crochet <laughs> I suck. should be 59 but then you want to go back into your loop half double crochet work your way back and that's it that's pretty much the end of the video <laughs> wow i really suck at talking <laughs> i really don't want to post this but i'm going to anyways because why not why freaking not okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i didn't <laughs> But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want to see more. It would be really helpful. I will appreciate it <laughs> if you guys do that. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of this tutorial. I suck. So cool.